couple of pewter plates and utensils from the late 17th century. Take a look at this. We'll look at this plate first. I'll take these off. And you notice on the back, it's nice and shiny compared to the front. Of course, that's what you wash. You wash the front. And that's what scrub. Just like today, when you wash a dish, you spend all of your effort on the food side and very little effort on the reverse. Now, on the reverse of this, you'll notice these hallmarks. You see a British crown, an X, and then an X and a V and a pound sign, number sign, whatever you want to call it. The first two up here, the British crown and the X, or number Roman numeral 10, was a quality mark. It meant the highest quality pewter or food grade. You could eat off of this. Now, today's standards are probably much higher. I wouldn't eat off of these today. But uh, back then, that, that's what that meant. And the British crown is a carryover from when we were a colony of Britain. People were used to that. And so it's a carryover. And then the last marks here, probably maker's marks, whoever made the, the pewter. And on the other one, it's, it's the same thing. I was hap got these many, many years ago, and uh, I was able to get a pair. And as you could see, it's, again, the same thing. You bought these in a set. And these are all hand thrown. Everything is uh, all made by hand. You could see the overlap there. And it's all made by hand, and it's it's big enough for you know a uh, a meal. You know. So I mean, there's my hand, and let me get a um, a modern uh, say a spoon here, and you could see. It, it's a decent size. I mean, you could put food on here, and that's what they did. It had a little lip here so it didn't spill over, and you sat at the table, and that's what you ate on. Now, I also have a couple of utensils here from the same period. And that is actually silver, but it's not solid silver. Inside of this handle, or these handles, is plaster of Paris to fill it so you didn't have as much weight. And as you can see, three prong. I know we call them forks today. Fork is just two prong. And by this period of time, the two prong was replaced with a three prong. And modern forks today are four prong. So they're not really forks, but the term has uh, carried over all these hundreds and hundreds of years. And so this is to emulate the solid um, silver silverware, if you want to call it that, because that's what it was called back then. And, uh, but it's not really solid. It's just the surface, a foil type thing. And then you would have your fork here, your knife, which is really dull for this time. And then these forks are mostly fist stabbing. You know, today you could pick up peas and corn with a fork, but back then it would have been more difficult. You probably would have used a spoon. And forks were generally for stabbing whatever you were eating. And then I have another set. But you're much smaller. And here you have a much smaller set. It was either for a child or it was a traveler. You used it in your bag when you traveled. Again, three prong. This is made out of bone. Now I brought over one of my dog bones <laughs> and you could see the similarities. Now this is aged, but there's his dog bone that he, I, he usually gnaws on. And what they would do is take an, uh, a, a bone like this and carve it into these handles because they used everything and then on the ends 
there's a pewter, a little bit of a pewter design. If I can get that. See, there's the pewter design. And they really went all out when they did these things. They made everything nice. Even a child's set like this or a traveler's set. Why would you do that for a child or a traveler's set? But that's what they did. So just a short video on a couple of pewter plates. This is what you ate on in the 17th or 18th century, in the 1700s. And of course there's a modern spoon. So about, this, about uh, full size, I would say, for comparing to today. But again, not really a fork, a trident, more. And again, as you both could, as you could see, both of these are more for stabbing, stabbing meat, or you know, you cut the meat and then you stab it, or whatever else you are eating. You don't always scoop vegetables; depends on what you're eating. You can stab it. And that's pretty typical of the day. So two pewter plates, late 1700s, American, food-grade pewter. Thanks for watching.